When I was planning this trip, I was told most fish would be taken either on a mouse pattern or on streamers retrieved near the bottom. I had taken my first fish on a heavily weighted streamer, but as the morning progressed, I was pleasantly surprised to see a mayfly hatch, and the fish all of a sudden could be seen feeding just under the surface. See the fin out right by my fly? Yes, they do. Right over to your fly, right? Knowing this situation could be short-lived, I soon changed my tactics to fish with an emerger pattern just under the surface. This is a deadly all-round method of taking trout. There we go. Yes, sir. You were right, you were right. Oh, and he let go. You were right though, I gave it a little twitch and he took it. Oh, that was exciting, whoa. We got a bunch of fish in front of us here, not just one, there's four, five, six, they're, they're stacking up in this area, getting ready for the spawn. But they're still taking them, and then, and then right now they're taking emergers. We've seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of boils around here, and then we noticed some mayflies coming off, and so, Herb suggested I put an emerger on. They're just underneath the surface, so we'll try again. Oh, that was exciting. Yeah. Well, what's happening is we have a lot of fish in this little narrows here they call lover boy, and they're up near the surface. Well, I can see them quite clearly with my polarized glasses on. And uh, they're, they're, they're taking emergers right now. We've got a bit of a, of a mayfly hatch happening. And uh, we've had a few swirls, but they're not coming up and taking the dry flies. They're eating just below the surface. So what I've done was I put on an emerger, and it's just a dark emerger. I, I'm not really trying to match the hatch, but they're feeding just under the surface. So this is what I've done, and I put just a tiny, tiny, tiny micro shot in order to get this under the surface. Uh, when I first put it on, it was floating right on top, and I didn't want that. I want it underneath the surface, and I'm giving a very, very slow retrieve. And I might twitch it every once in a while, but that's what I've been doing, and it proved successful on that one nice big fish. I lost two earlier, but I found that I had to sharpen my hook too, which is very important. The fact that I sharpened my hook, I caught, this, I caught the one right after. And I'm doing the same, I'm not trying to uh, make a lot of noise on the water. I'm shaking the line before I lift it out, and that, what that does, it breaks the surface film, and it makes it very quiet. There we go. We got a good one, too. Good one, good one. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, look at him take the line out. The line just stopped there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This is Labrador fishing at its best. Oh, yeah. He's actually pulling the boat around. Can you believe that? <laughs> he just touched the side of the boat, and I gotta be very careful of that. You can snap your leader very easily by touching the side of the boat. Okay. There we go. Now, that is a quality Manipi brook trout. And he's dressed in his fall colors. You must come to Manipi. Absolutely spectacular. Wowee. <laughs> oh, yeah. And away he goes. Oh. <laughs> Emerger fishing in Labrador. Didn't expect that. I expected to take them on uh, big topwater patterns and, uh, and, and, and sinking tips and stuff like that. Did not expect emergers, but you must be versatile.